paper, scissors, go. You know the game. Or if you live in Texas, you might know it as Carrot Bunny Gun. Both are really silly because a rock the size of your hand could really ruin a paper and a carrot can't really plug a gun. Some people call it Rochambeau, but do you know why? Rochambeau was a French general way back in the early days of the USA. He helped America beat the British. That was about 240 years ago, but actually the game is much older than that. According to Chinese history, the game started in China about 1800 years ago. But some people think it's older than that. Back then it was called Shoshi Ling. It also became popular in Japan where they called it Mushi Ken. In that version, there's a slug that beats a snake that beats a frog. I don't think that looks like a frog. And how does a slug beat a snake, right? It must have been a mistranslation because in the Chinese version, it's not a slug. It's a poisonous centipede. In all the time since then, the game has changed a lot and now it's rock, paper, scissors. By the way, did you know in bowling, three strikes is called a turkey? In rock, paper, scissors, three rocks in a row is called an avalanche. Three papers in a row is a bureaucrat. Three scissors in a row is called a guillotine. Oh, and you should always start with paper because most people's first choice is rock. But why do we call it Rochambeau? The short answer is, Nobody knows. It probably doesn't come from that French guy. Supposedly, the oldest book we know that says something about it is from 1936. It's called The Handbook for Recreation Leaders and it was published by the US Children's Bureau. Some people think it came from Americans changing how they say a foreign word. That's called anglicization. Like how the Spanish word vaquero became buckaroo. People think the game came to the US from Japanese people coming to San Francisco to the 1930s. By then, the Japanese people called it Jen Can Pond. That sounds nothing like Rochambeau, so that doesn't make any sense. But if there was a tie before playing again, they would say Aiko de Sho instead. That sounds a little bit more like Rochambeau. Another idea is kids back then would learn about Rochambeau the General in school. And then they just decided to say that when they played the game. If that's true, it just as easily could have been called Washington or Jefferson. But do schools really teach about Rochambeau? Had you even heard about Rochambeau before you saw Hamilton? Some people think it might have to do with the book I mentioned. The Handbook for Recreation Leaders was a book about how to entertain kids with games and activities. It mentions Rochambeau, although it spells it differently. It was published in Washington, D.C. by the U.S. Children's Bureau. In Washington, D.C., there's Lafayette Park. That park has a big statue of Rochambeau. It's also really close to the Children's Bureau building. It could be the kids got the idea to call it Rochambeau from the statue, and the lady who wrote the book heard them saying it. But calling it Rochambeau is way more popular in California on the other side of the country. Another weird thing is that my dad and I found a bunch of websites and a podcast that said that book was published in Oakland. So that would make sense. But there's a problem with that idea. There are two books with the same title, but they're not the same book. There's one from DC and one from Oakland, and the Oakland book doesn't mention the game at all. Here's another idea. In the 1930s, before World War II, the USA and Japan weren't getting along very well. Maybe some teacher in Oakland read the DC book and got the idea to tell the kids, call it Rochambeau instead of using Japanese words. The thing is, all of these ideas could be wrong. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. Daddy, we gonna watch Hamilton again? Oh, I'm not gonna watch it again. You can watch it. It was published in Washington. It was plop. It was published. It's called the Handbook for Recreation Readers. It's called the Handbook for. It's called the Handbook for Recreation Bureaus.